Hi, it's Anne here, and today's video is my first update for my lip project pan for 2023. Yes, I am actually doing a lip project pan, and if you're like, I don't didn't recall you did an intro, it's because I did it like way back in January, and I've I don't want to say I've forgotten about this project, but I've kind of put off doing an update because I kind of felt like I was failing a little bit at this project. But now that I've kind of done, like I've done my weight checks, I've done some like checks in my book and I'm like, it's not that bad. Like we're not that bad. I don't, I don't need to feel so bad about myself about this project. It's moving along slowly, which I kind of thought was going to happen anyway. So here we are with the first update. I also want to address an elephant in the room. Not really an elephant in the room. My hair is different. Um, it's definitely lighter. There is no purple left in my hair. Well, there's kind of, there's kind of a, a rainbow of colors happening in my hair. Um, and it is looking a little wild and woolly because I did not blow dry it um, and I had it braided and so I tried to like curl it to get rid of some of the frizz and now my hair is just like, it's kind of big so I need to like, whew, calm it down a little. Um, anyway, so let's get into the Lit Project Pan. Let's talk about the products. Um, I will put up photos of like side by sides uh, as I am talking. I did this a little differently than last year. Last year was very specific. I had like one lipstick, one lip oil, one lip gloss kind of thing, like by category. This year I just picked a bunch of items <laughs> and I'm just kind of like casually working on them. And I'm definitely having more success with some items than others. So the first item is a lip oil and this is the NYX, this is everything lip oil in sheer berry. Progress on this is slow. Should have been more, but I lost this for a while. I can't even remember where I found it. I think it was in my purse. I'm not sure. I lost it for a while and then I found it and I was like, oh, there you are. Um, so progress on this has not been nearly as much as I had anticipated by this time of the year. Um, I'm just gonna do like the start weight versus today. I did do a weight like a few weeks ago when I was gonna film this and then I just never got around to it. So I've kind of reweighed everything. Some things have changed since then and some things are pretty much the same. Um, so when I first weighed this, it was 14.42 grams. It's now 14.18 grams. So that's a, just a little difference of 0.24 grams. So again, not a whole lot of use on this, uh, mostly because I lost it. So I need to, I wanna pick up the use on this a bit more. I do really like this product. Um, the next product I've definitely had a lot of progress on. This is the Revlon Kiss Plumping, Plumping Lip Cream in Barely Blush. Um, I did just film like my makeup inventory and I discovered just kind of, again, I'm, I'm not using these lip products exclusively. Last year was kind of like exclusively project panning and then rotating. I'm, I'm doing a lot of just random picking <laughs> um, and I have the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump and I feel like this product's very similar to that product and I like that one more. Um, and this is starting to get a little difficult to squeeze. Like you can, I think you can even kind of see on the packaging that like it's looking a little wonky cause I'm like really squeezing it hard. I'm ready, I'm close to giving this up. <laughs> like I'm close to being calling it. I don't want to like cut this open or anything. Once it gets too hard to like get any product out, I'm going to let it go. I can see myself like end of summer being done with this one. Um, like August timeframe at the latest. Uh, so when I first weighed this, it was 9.37 grams. It's now 8.77 grams. So that's a difference of 0 0.6 grams. The next product is one of two products that I've made the most progress on, um, I think. Well, that last one was pretty good too. Um, this is the Tower 28 Juice Balm Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Mix. I really enjoy this product. I really like the shade of it. I would like to find a product similar to this that is not like clean beauty because I feel like this is going to go bad on me. Although the other thing though too is like I am flying through this. So I really like the product, but for the price of it, I am flying through it. So I'll put the side by side photos up and I think you'll see that this one's definitely moved a lot. And I like I've used it a fair amount, but not a whole lot. Like I could definitely have used it more. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I have mixed feelings about this. I mean, the name mix is a good name because I, I do really like the product. I like the shade. I think the thing is I like the shade and I like the shine of it. It's just got that right amount of shine. The only thing is that it is a little too creamy. So like I'm flying through it. Um, when I first weighed this, it was 15.21 grams. It's now 14.6 grams. So that's a difference of 0 0.61 grams. The next product is what I have on my lips today. And I feel like this is like 
wave the white flag on this one. I think this is a product that I'm going to eventually just, like end of this year, I'm going to just let go. Um, this is the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Cream in Nurturing. I just, out of all the products, this is probably the one that I gravitate towards the least. I like it. I like the color. It's sort of like a peachy pink. Feels really nice. Um, the interesting thing about this is it's supposed to be like, like it says Tarte Lip Surgeon. So it used to have that like cinnamony burning that has kind of gone away there's like a hint of it um but i feel like because that's gone away that means this is bad like it's gone bad um and i just like i don't see myself finishing this it's a pretty old product so i'm just going to try and get as much use out of it that i can this year it might not be a whole lot but at least i feel like i've i've, I've done my duty with this job with this product and and i don't i can't expect anymore like i just don't think it makes sense to keep it around if I'm just not going to use it a whole lot and it's really old and it's probably gone like off because of that whole plumping thing. I feel like I'm now like talking in circles <laughs> and like again I think from the photos you'll see like this one is barely changed. I think out of all of them it's probably the least changed or close to it. Um, so when I first introduced this it was 16.29 grams. It's now 16.25 grams so that's just a difference in 0 0.04 grams. The next item is this Hourglass Girl Lip Stilo in the shade Futurist. This is a product that I could have more use out of it. I just kind of forget about it. And I also have a problem where this sort of conflicts with another product that I'll talk about later. And I've just been using that other product a little bit more right now. But I think I might flip over to using this one a little bit more because I like that this one has a bit of shine to it compared to the other one. It's just very pale. Like I feel like I need to have a lip liner with this. Um, but it's something that I feel like I could finish. Like there's not a whole lot of product. Or I could get pretty close to finishing this um, or making a good dent on it at least. Uh, and I just haven't used it. Like it's just kind of for, been forgotten. Out of all the items, this is probably the one that I've used the least. Like at least mentally feels like I've used the least. Um, so when I introduced this, it was 10.5 grams. It's now 10.47 grams. So that's just a difference of 0 0.03 grams. Um, the next product is another one that I feel like I've, I've used a fair amount. I feel like it's another one that I'm going to call it probably before the end of the year because I feel like, um, oh, my tummy just made it, made a gurgle. I don't know if you heard that. Um, so this is the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paint in, Star, in Nude Star. Um, I like this product. It's an easy one for me to throw on. I think it looks nice, but I do feel like it is starting to dry out. Like I can definitely tell that it's getting, it's getting near the end of its useful life. Um, I think I might be able to keep this around until the end of the year, or maybe to the fall. Um, but I think it will definitely be done earlier than some of the other products and mostly just done because I'm done with it. Like I feel like I don't think I can empty this, but I think it'll be kind of like a liquid lipstick where it's just not really usable anymore. Um, so when I introduced this, it was 16.97 grams. It's now 16.85 grams. So that's just a difference of 0 0.12 grams, which for like a lipstick type product is not too bad, actually. This guy, I thought I'd use this a bit more <laughs> earlier in the year, and I just, again, I just didn't use it for whatever reason. I've also had a bit of like a, a change in habit, change in, change in lifestyle, essentially. Um, I'm going back to the office a little bit more. I changed jobs at the beginning of March and with this new job, I'm going into the office more. And it's not that I don't want to wear lip products. It's like, because this new job with everything, like reapplying a lip product is probably like the furthest thing from my mind <laughs> during the day. Whereas when I work from home more often, I usually just have my lip products, like I have them sitting, like up on like a bench or up on a little shelfy thing and then I have some sitting like in front of me like on my mirror ledge and I just sort of grab for them as like I see them whereas when I'm in the office I don't necessarily do that <laughs> um, so I feel like it's changed it's changed my progress on things it's changed my habit on things it's changed how I use things and this color so this is the bite amuse bouche in rhubarb it's a little deeper of a color so when I do wear this I tend to like I tend to actually not reapply it. I put it on in the morning. Um, I like to blot it down a little bit and then that's it. Like I, I generally will pull, like I'll take the Tower 28 product with me instead or I'll take, like I've been using the Fenty Lip Gloss and Fussy a lot. So I've been taking that with me. Um, I probably should have put that in this project, um, but I don't see myself finishing that this year. Um, so this guy's not had a whole lot of use. Last, or when I introduced this, it was 7.87 grams. It's now 7.83 grams. So now, so that's just a difference of 0 0.04 grams, which if that was like a month difference, that's not a whole lot. But for like four months, that's, that's, that's not, or sorry, for like a month difference, that would be pretty good. Like if it was from beginning of 
where are we? I don't even know what week we are. Like beginning of April to end of April, that would be fine. But like this has been since January. So that's not a whole lot. Um, so the other lipstick is the MAC lipstick in Boca. I have been focusing on this one a little bit more. And this is the one I feel like competes with our, the Hourglass. I'm just going to swatch them side by side to see how similar they are. I just feel like they, I don't, they're not similar at all. I just feel like they're in the same family. And I've talked about that in the past with projects where I try not make, try not to have competing products um, because I'm really only going to use one. Yeah, they're, they're close. One's more pink and one's more brown. But see what I mean? Like they're in the same depth and even Boca is actually pretty shiny too. But I'd say, or not shiny, it's it's not matte, it's a satin. But the, the, the Stilo one, that's the Hourglass one. It's a bit more, here, let's get you zoomed in. That's the Hourglass one. I think you can see it has a bit more shine to it. And then that's the MAC lipstick in Boca. It's a shame that Boca, I don't think that's a permanent shade because I really like that shade. It's quite nice. Um, but yeah, I've just kind of used this a bit more. I focused on this a bit more. Um, and it's kind of like I, I can use one or the other. Like I can't really use both because they compete too much with each other in terms of type and style and like when I would wear them with what type of makeup look. I hope that makes sense. Um, so when I introduced this one, it was 9.44 grams. It's now 9.35 grams. So that's a difference of 0.09 grams. So I've used almost twice as much of this product as I have of the Bite lipstick for comparison. Um, and same with the, I've used three times as much product on this one compared to this guy. So I think that kind of shows that I've focused on this guy a little bit more. Um, the other product that I made like the biggest dent, so I'd say the Tower 28, the Revlon Kiss lip cream, and then this guy, this is the Color Workshop. So that cheapy brand um, in pink and like this guy's a little nubbin. Um, I'm not sure how much it'll show in the side by side because it was pretty low already and I think that's what's motivated me to like use this guy. This also feels like a lip balm so it's easy to sort of throw on. The only thing is it can look really pale on me like a really pale pink and I kind of again I feel like it looks a little bit better with a lip liner so it's not one that I like to just reapply when I'm out and about. Um, but at home I'll sit and just reapply this like a lip balm because it feels like a lip balm and this one I definitely like I'm motivated to finish this guy by the end of the year because I want to have like a lipstick finished and this is a lipstick. Granted, this bullet was not a full, like it was not, when it started, it was not nearly as long as the bullet in, in the minis even. Um, it's sort of a shorter bullet, so it's a little easier to tackle. Um, when I introduced this, it was 12.03 grams. It's now currently 11.96 grams. So that's a difference of 0.14 grams. And then the last product is this lipstick from Rimmel. This is the, um, the line I think is called The Only One and this is the shade It's a Keeper. And this is another one I focused on quite a bit because I quite enjoy this. Um, it also leaves a little bit of a tint. Like if I apply it a few times, it will start to leave a bit of a stain on my lips, which I, I really like. Because <laughs> then I can just throw on like a lip gloss or something and I have still some color. And I just really enjoy this. Again, it's sort of balmy feeling. It's kind of light. I really like the formula of this. I think I said at the beginning my goal was to get halfway on this guy, and I think that's doable actually. Um, like I said, I've just been gravitating towards this guy, wearing it a lot. Um, yeah, it's, it's going well for me on this guy. I don't know again what the photos will show um, in terms of difference. I Is this one? Yeah, this is one of three that has shown a difference in my book. Um, the Tower 28, Tower 28 one and the Color Workshop pink one. They're the only ones who have shown a difference in like when I marked it in my book. Um, so when I introduced this one, it was 0.16 gram, or no, sorry. When I introduced this, it was 18.85 grams. It's now 18.65 grams. And that is a difference of 0.2 grams. So fairly good, I feel like, for a lipstick product for me. When I add up the total used of all of these products, I've used 2.11 grams. So I feel like that's pretty good. Like if you focus that all on just like one lipstick, that would be a really good dent on just one lipstick. Um, but I, I'm not, I'm not a one lipstick kind of girl. Oh, that sounded really wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like to mix things up. So, I mean, having that total though helps me realize that I, I I'm not doing that bad. Like I was feeling a little hard on myself that this project was going really slow. It's slow, but it's not bad. Like it's still reasonable. I still think I can get through a few of these products. I think I'm making a good dent on a few products. It's also helping me realize like I can probably cycle some of these products out of my collection, which I always have a hard time with, but I feel like when I use a product a whole lot, I feel a bit better 
letting it go because I feel like I've given it, I've given it some good love. I've had a relationship with it. I've really cared for it for a while. And it's like, you know, I hate getting rid of a product that's like, well, I haven't really used it. And so I don't know if I really like it. How do I know I don't really like it? And then I get rid of it and then I'll miss it because it's like, I, I didn't know if I really liked it. Whereas now it's like, like, for example, this product, I feel like, I even feel like at this point, I'm okay letting this guy go by the end of this year because I feel like I've given it a good go. I don't mind it, but I think, I think it's going to have its, its turn and that it will be time to leave. Um, I get a little funny when I talk about makeup sometimes. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know when I'll do the next update for this. It'll probably be somewhere around July or August. It's, it's kind of like a slow moving project, but I kind of like it that way. I really didn't want to pressure myself to really focus on these guys and show progress every month. It's just not how I'm rolling with this guy or with this project. So yeah. I'm curious to know, is anybody else doing like a lip project pan or do you just put your lip products in with like your regular project pan? I've, I've liked separating it out and sort of focusing on it as its own category. Um, but I don't know if I'll do that in the future. I don't know if I'll just throw like a lip product within my regular project pan going forward anyway, or I'll switch to like what I did last year and have like a very small subset of items, or maybe I'll just not pan any lip products at all <laughs> in the future. Anyway, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.